This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank and Slovacek Sausage. Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. For this week's Burger of the Week, we headed to College Station, just a few miles northeast of Brenham, to go to the chicken for a burger. For close to 40 years, the Dixie Chicken in College Station's Northgate District has been a destination for AM students, alumni, football fans, and people who just want to have a good time. Since 1974, the chicken has been the coop to call home. Known for its down-home Texas country atmosphere, it's a lot like another spot we visited on the Texas bucket list. And they really liked the whole Lukenbach feel, which is where they got, you know, the idea for the Dixie Chicken and what, it, what they wanted it to look like. Katie Jackson and her sister Jennifer Ganter own the Dixie Chicken, but this story starts with their father. These are the two that started the Dixie Chicken. That's a very old picture of my dad. This is Don Ann's, my dad's partner. Back in the early 70s, the two Dons had a daring idea. Open a bar close to the a and campus and invite Aggies to wet their whistles on weekends or whenever they wanted to take a break from the stress of school. Now they struggled for just for a little while. Back then it was, you know, kind of less heard of to just go to college and kind of go crazy. But then they, they warmed up to the idea. They figured out how to multitask. They did, they did. <laughs> That's probably a better way of saying it. <laughs> Don Ganter took sole ownership of the Dixie Chicken in 1982. And after his passing in 2004, he passed down the keys to the best known bar in the Brazos Valley to his two girls. This is the uh, original bar. This is the original bar, yes. When it was originally built, the chicken consisted of one room with lots of things on the walls. Not much has changed over the years. But there's very few items that my sister and I have placed in here ourselves. Most everything in here was done by my dad, you know, when when we opened. Um, so it's there, you know, everything in here is very old and and uh, who knows where he got it. Katie and Jennifer like to keep the chicken exactly how it was all those years ago. You see, it creates a feeling of home for all the folks that have been coming here over the years. We think it's important that when people were here in college and they walked in and had their experience here when they were 20, even though they're 50 or 45 now, they can come back in and feel the same way they did when they were in college here and sit down at the same table and you know, drink the same kind of beer and have the same experience they did back then. So what is it that keeps everyone coming back? We have the live rattlesnake. We have, you know, good food, good burgers, cold beer. Wait, did she just say that? We have the live rattlesnake. That's right. You can sit and stare at a snake while sipping on some suds. But don't worry, this slithery little fella ain't breaking through. It's bulletproof glass and all of that. So, yeah, <laughs> that was required whenever my dad put him in. So. Great. I'm not too fond of snakes, but I do love burgers. And here at the Chicken, the Freddy is the only way to go. But who's Freddy? <laughs> Freddy has worked at the Dixie Chicken as a cook since I was four. Um, he is like a brother to me. And he's in charge of his kitchen. Make it, make it all the way. Simply known by his first name, Freddy has been working at the Chicken for a very long time. And then I came to you know, uh, in Texas and then to do a petroleum engineer. And, and then uh, I decided to take a semester off. and. That was it. Now he's a fixture in a town full of kids more than half his age. Everybody between the age 18 and 21, so it makes me feel younger. <laughs> or made me stay younger, I guess. <laughs> so how did the Freddy Burger come about? We noticed that America wanted something bigger. Instead of the regular one-third pound burger everyone was used to, Don started bringing in half-pound patties and had a great idea. Don, the owner, he saw me, he, want, he wanted to make me famous. My dad, being what he was, he always liked to name things after, you know, people that meant something to him or things that meant something to him. And so he called the, the, the half pound burger the Freddy Burger after, after our cook, Freddy. Well, what makes the Freddy Burger special? Uh, the old I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we start with a half a pound burger. And we put the secret spices. Secret? Secret spices, yeah. Everybody, everybody knows about it, but it's a secret. 
<laughs> yeah. And then uh, we, we, we want it to flip as, as much as we can. We don't want to leave it one spot. So it'll, it'll tend to be a little more spices on it. It'll be a couple of minutes in that. So constant flipping. Constant flipping, yeah. You don't want it to be too long. When Freddy says flipping, he's not fibbing. As much as I can, I mean, as much as I can. I said maybe 20 times, maybe. With all that work, Freddy doesn't have time to prepare the produce, so that gets taken care of on the side. The mayonnaise, mustard, pickles, onions, lettuce, and tomato. The bun gets a light toasting, and then Freddy, the burger that is, gets topped with cheese. Your choice of American or Swiss. Put a bun in there and skip a couple, couple of seconds. And then when it's almost melted, you put it away, it'll, it'll melt. And then it gets that's wrapped, it. and that's it. Yeah. That's the Freddy Burger. That's the Freddy Burger. Thanks, look at this. All right, thanks, Freddy. You're welcome. So here we go, the Freddy Burger made especially by Freddy. Definitely looking forward to this one here at the Dixie Chicken. Check that burger out. The vegetables look just beautiful, those pickles, onions, tomatoes. And look at that cheese just sneaking out from behind the bun. Of course, the bun is nice and toasty warm. That's just gonna be good. Mm. 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 Does that tell you? It turns out that Freddy's TLC makes this burger something you have to sink your beak into at the Dixie Chicken. He's always been the cook. He's he's an amazing person. He's just as good as you can get. Um, he's the most loyal person you'd ever meet. Um, we're we're very blessed to have him work here, and we again thank God that he comes every day and shows up, and that he wants to continue to work here. I've been coming here so long that when Freddie is, goes on vacation, and if I didn't know it, I could tell by the taste of the hamburger. I, I don't know what he does. But uh, I can tell that he didn't make it. Um, best hamburger in town, great atmosphere. Before I was even an Aggie, everybody told me about coming to the Dixie Chicken and, and Northgate in general. So the first time I came here, this is the first place I ate. It's the last place I'll eat before I leave.